Hey, what's up guys? It's Nikki, and today we got some Drop Zone C-Town AA-12 action for you. I'm running damage on my AA-12 because I think that's the way to go with every shotgun, except for the Striker, because I have every shotgun at level 30, level 31, except for the Striker, because I think that one's a little too easy to use relative to the other shotguns. But yeah, damage is the way to go on my AA-12, and I was actually listening to music while I played this game, since I'm playing by myself, and I was just chilling using the AA-12. It's a really fun gun to use. And I really don't believe in listening to music while I play because I use a headset really often. When I first started gaming, I didn't really believe in using a headset. I thought it was stupid where people would spend 60 to 100 to like 300 bucks on a headset. I thought it was really stupid and unnecessary. But now that I've been gaming for a little bit, I realize that it's really important to sound whore people and to listen in on game audio cues. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. I realized something very obvious lately, I guess that a lot of people my age, a lot of people in high school, use Facebook and Twitter, but they use it completely wrong. So I'm not going to try to put down Facebook or Twitter. I think they're really smart inventions. I use Facebook and Twitter to keep up with, say, commentators that I really like, want to know what's happening with their lives when they're posting their next video via Facebook or Twitter, or sometimes rather than sending 10 text messages out to my friends, I'd rather just put it up so they can see it and be like, hey, you guys want to play Battlefield? And they'll be like, yeah. So it's a lot easier than just sending 10 text messages even though it's there is a multiple text button but still using Facebook is kind of convenient and it's a really smart invention now I think some people or actually I'm gonna say more than half of the people in high school who have Facebook and Twitter use it completely wrong and it absolutely irritates me now the first thing it's not really a huge problem but some people's grammar is absolutely horrible like I know that in English class in the normal non AP English classes they had there, there, and there as vocabulary words. And as a junior in high school, I think you should know the difference between there, there, and there. I've heard some people use some stupid excuse like, oh, well, I didn't use the right there because I'm too lazy. I was like, why? Just why? I know it's such a minuscule thing, but it makes you seem so much more intelligent when you can speak correctly. And I don't see why it's so much of a problem to try to do that correctly. So anyway, that's the first thing. And that's the most minuscule thing out of all the problems I find that teenagers have when they use Facebook. And another thing, this is this is one of the bigger things that are on my nerves. The like my status things. Those things are, I don't even know why people do them. I don't know why they popped up. I don't know why people think they're a good idea. But I think the reasoning behind why people do it subconsciously is because a lot of people are afraid of direct confrontation. So a lot of like my status things are like, Hey, like my status and I'll give you a compliment. And I think what that's sort of doing is making the person who, let's say you wanted to give a compliment to a girl and you're a guy. You put up an LMS so that you can get her approval if she likes it to give her said compliment. And I think that's kind of what's going on in people's minds. They don't want to compliment someone unless they get their permission to compliment them. And I think that sort of defeats the purpose of giving someone a compliment. The purpose of giving someone a compliment would be to surprise them, be nice to them, and brighten up their day. You don't go out asking for them. It's kind of like those girls also who put up photos of themselves and say, Oh my god, I'm so ugly. But they're just fishing for comments and compliments and stuff like that. Don't use LMSs is pretty much the bottom line I'm trying to get to. Go up to that person and say, Hey, you're pretty, instead of trying to get their permission to do it in the first place. The other reason someone might use LMS status is just because they're bored. And dude, there are a million other things you can do rather than sitting around waiting for people to approve for you to talk to them. I mean, many more things for you to do. Another thing that irritates me about Facebook are people who post what I like to call pronoun statuses. Now, if you don't know what a pronoun is for some reason, it's using the word he, she, they, etc. So, what pronoun statuses are is something like, oh my god, I love her. Now, that adds a sort of, and let me put a quick disclaimer, if you're single and you use these, that's when it's irritating. If you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you use these, that's completely okay. If, you're, if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you say, I think she's so pretty, hopefully you're talking about a girlfriend unless you have something going on there, but I'm not going to get into that. So, people who post pronoun statuses are trying to be mysterious, like, that person has my heart, it's like, or they broke my heart, something like that. They're trying to be mysterious. And I think what people are doing is stirring up drama because apparently people like drama. And I've been in drama before. It sucks. I don't know why people like to be 
in other people's lives and stuff. I've pretty much gotten out of it. There is no reason whatsoever why you need to be so secretive like that other than to get people's attention. And that's another subconscious thing I think teenagers use Facebook for, is to get people's attention and that they're afraid of direct confrontation. So it's kind of like this contradictory thing where they want attention but they don't want to go get it so they do it kind of indirectly. That's irritating to me also, those pronoun things. And also the duck face things. This isn't exclusive to Facebook or Twitter, but the duck face things girls do. I know you must have seen it before. It is completely unattractive. And I know girls' main point in life, most of them, well actually hopefully it should be, girls' main point in life isn't to impress guys. The duck face thing though is just, it's not cute, it's incredibly unattractive pretty much. I, I don't want to say girls have to be attractive 100% of the time. But something about the duck face, the little kissy lip thing, is incredibly annoying. Another problem I have with teenagers on Facebook is their weather reports. So here in California, we have earthquakes every now and then. And I'd say there are two earthquakes a year on average. This is just a, this is just a rough guess. Don't get mad at me because I'm not an earthquakeologist. Um, so there are about two earthquakes a year. And during these earthquakes, many, many people's first reaction is to go on Facebook or Twitter and post, OMG, there was an earthquake. That, why? People who are in your area who follow you on Twitter, yeah, they probably live around you. No duh, there was an earthquake. You don't need to tell us. Your first reaction to there being an earthquake should be to check that there's no broken glass on the floor to making sure everyone's okay. That's sh That should be your first reaction to an earthquake, not posting it up on Facebook or Twitter because I'm pretty sure everyone knows. And if you don't live in a place where there's earthquakes, it can range from something minor to just books falling off your shelf to something huge like the ground opening up and zombies coming out. It could be as huge as that and I'm still sure that there'd be people who go on Facebook and say, oh my god, there's an earthquake. Why? Why? That's so... There's a lack of insight there. What you should be posting at least is, is everyone okay? Not, oh my god, there's an earthquake. There's a lack of insight there. There's a lack of thinking. And also another thing with the rain. So here in California, it doesn't rain very often. But some people feel the urge to say it's raining in their Facebook statuses. Why? I can tell it's raining. I have eyes and a window. There's no problem whatsoever. I can tell if it's raining. You don't need to tell me that. Um, yeah, and it boils down to a lack of insight and a lack of people being able to think. And the last thing I have to talk about is the obvious proverb thing. Now what that is, is saying something like, something that's incredibly easy to agree with, such as, be nice to your mother, or hug your girlfriend because she's a nice person. I mean, those things are so obvious, but for some reason people feel the need to say them and they're easy, they're easy to agree with. So people like those statuses and it's just annoying also. So if you have someone in your life who does these LMS statuses, who do these pronoun statuses, or who do these weather report things, please stop them for the sake of the universe. And that's pretty much all I have to say. Thanks for listening to my rant. I'm Nikki, and I'll see you later.